let's see what's on YouTube. Oh man, I, I don't want to see this guy anymore. So I competed in a sim racing Chicago event and I did absolutely horrible. Now before I delve into why I did so bad and give you all some tips on how to not do so horrible, I kind of want to highlight a couple things about me. Um, I drive MX-5 on iRacing almost religiously. I have plenty of content, plenty of replays saved of me driving MX-5 and doing decent. I wouldn't say that I'm one of the quickest guys, but I understand the car well. I'm able to react pretty quick because, well, it's a slow vehicle and plus my equipment isn't the best, but it's just something that I am used to driving. So because of that, I can drive it extremely well. The GT3s on the other hand, no matter which GT3 it is, I don't drive enough. So you're going to see that here. And actually, before we get started, let me talk about some of the other vehicles that I am used to driving. We have, of course, the Miata, the Touring Audi, and also the Solstice. All of these cars I was able to get first place wins with the Solstice getting the majority of those wins. Okay, now we've crossed the start line and we can actually talk about the race. So, can you see the first mistake? Yeah, I am a bit far off from the crowd. And this is something that I know to do better with, with most of my races. But here, I was really hoping that somebody would spin off on the first turn, second turn, third turn, nothing. So, it was a bad play on my part. And because of this, I am trying to really push on cold tires. And you'll see the second mistake come up because of that, right about here. Now, did you catch that? If not, let's rewind. And let's get into the cockpit here and look here. So I am braking, but I'm not using any throttle. But my rears give out. And that's because of the weight transfer. So what I should have done was actually give it a little throttle when I was trying to correct. First mistake. I'm now in dead last. And it doesn't take long for me to make another mistake, which you'll see here shortly. So I come up this hill here and I'm taking these turns okay. I don't think I'm in the right gear and I also don't think I'm pushing hard enough. But none of that even matters because when I come up to this last turn over here, I spin the rears once again. And this mistake is actually a little bit easier to explain than the last one, so let's rewind and see what actually happened here. So as you can see, I think I engine brake here and then I lose the rears because of the weight transfer. But also, I don't correct, so look at the wheel right here. What I should be doing is easing up off the brake and giving it some gas and trying to correct. The wheel doesn't move. Now, I want to say that a lot of this is attributed to the... <laughs> so what's the next best thing if you don't have better equipment? Getting a coach. So I'm thinking about hiring this guy. You've probably seen him before. He is a excellent coach from what I've seen. He has tons of videos, tons of views, tons of results. So let's see if he can bring my time down. We'll see, maybe that will be a future video. I have no clue, but I definitely need to get myself a little bit faster. And ultimately when I'm driving, I need to do less of this and I need to do a little bit more of this. If you don't wanna to listen to me complain, then you can just skip through this and subscribe, like all that jazz. But ultimately, you know, as a driver, 
as somebody who has crafted up his own style, I really hope that my pursuit to speed doesn't change who I am as a driver, and one day I'll be respected. Hip, hip. Uh.